Hello, this is Mighty Owl. When you wake up in the morning, you wash your face and brush your teeth. You fill up a water bottle and start the day. But have you ever considered how that water gets to you? Where does that water actually come from? We use water to drink, clean, and cook every single day. And most of us can just turn on the faucet and there it is, in our kitchen, bathroom, or drinking fountain. But where on our planet does the water that we use for our everyday needs come from? Well, let's take a look at where water is found on our Earth. Every living thing on Earth depends on water to survive. And the plants in your yard need water. Animals need it to drink. Humans are made up mostly of water, so we need it to stay healthy, and we also need it to stay clean. It may seem like we have a never-ending supply of water to use here on our planet, but that's not the case. If you look at a globe, you might say there is water everywhere. We have tons of it on Earth. And you're right. Water does cover 71% of the Earth's surface. However, most of that is salt water in our oceans. An ocean is a huge body of salt water. And we can't drink salt water because it contains salt and would make humans and animals very sick. Land-dwelling living things like us can only drink fresh water. Fresh water is water that does not have a lot of salt in it. Only a very small amount of the water on Earth is fresh. And that's why it's important that humans do their best not to waste water. Now you can find fresh water in many different places. Can you think of any? If you've ever taken a swim in a lake, a pond, or a river, you were swimming in fresh water. There are rivers and lakes all over our Earth, but they still make up for a very small amount of the total water. Have you ever dug a really deep hole, and when you get down deep enough, the soil is wet? Well, if you have, you probably have found groundwater. Groundwater is water that is under the ground. Humans have learned to dig into the earth in order to get water and to be able to use it in our homes. How mighty cool is that? And out of the small amount of fresh water on our planet, we can't even use some of that water because it's frozen in ice caps and glaciers. A glacier is a large area of thick ice that does not melt from one year to the next. They're like huge ice cubes floating in the ocean or sitting on land. Except these don't melt like the ice in your lemonade. And an ice cap is a very large glacier that covers a lot of land. You can imagine that this type of frozen water is found in very cold parts of the Earth closer to the North and South Poles. When we talk about our Earth, it's helpful to be able to read a map and a globe. Well, let's take a look at a world map and learn about some things that can help us understand them better. We use directions like North, South, East, and West in order to locate places on a map. A compass rose is a drawing showing the directions on a map. And we can use directions in order to divide our planet into different parts. We divide land into states, provinces, countries, and continents. But we can also look at the Earth as being split up into parts called hemispheres. A hemisphere is half of a sphere, or a round object. So imagine you take a tennis ball, and you cut it into two equal parts. Well, you now have made two hemispheres out of that tennis ball. The equator is an imaginary line that splits the Earth into North and South Hemispheres. Places above the equator are in the Northern Hemisphere, and places below the equator are in the Southern Hemisphere. And there's also the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian is an imaginary line that splits the Earth into East and West Hemispheres. Places located to the East of the Prime Meridian are in the Eastern Hemisphere, and places located west of the Prime Meridian are in the Western Hemisphere. So, my mighty friends, let's recap. Our wonderful Earth is mostly made up of water, 
yet most of it is salt water and uh, most animals can't use it. The small amount of water that is usable, called fresh water, can be found in rivers, lakes, ponds, and streams all over the world. It can also be found under the ground, which makes it more difficult to get to. Other fresh water is frozen in glaciers. The small amount of fresh water that we have access to means that we all need to do our part to conserve it. So turn off the faucet while brushing your teeth and try to take shorter showers if possible. If we all make small changes, it can have a mighty impact on our precious water.